What's going on everyone? It's time to talk about Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. The final Paranormal Activity film, for now anyways. Um, released by Paramount Pictures, October 20th, 2015. Uh, produced by Steve Schneider, Oren Pelly, Jason Blum, all those people that produced the whole series. Uh, written by Jason Harry Pagan, Andrew Dushman, Adam... Rotel and Gavin Heffernan, and it was directed by Gregory Plotkin, who's also done films like Hellfest, Crimson, Warlords, uh, Nightlight, and yeah. So this film had a budget of around $10 million, and it made $78.9 million. So they made, still made a decent profit, even though this is definitely by far the worst one in the whole series. Um... I find the Paranormal Activity films start off super strong and then just plummet down to terrible. So it's just been like a huge down, down, downhill uh, mess. So yeah, Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, you follow a family that's recently moves into a rental property, which is actually, I think the house, I think it's the house where like the second and third one mainly take place. Uh, and is refurbished and stuff like that. And they find, the husband finds this old video camera, which is retrofitted to futuristically to see the ghost dimension uh, of it. So basically they strip away all the ambiance and ambient sort of like, just, uh, how should I put this? Uh, they take away all the unknown of spiritual stuff that's going on and make it so you can see everything happening right when it happens. Uh, yeah. So basically this film went full on Hollywood instead of a found footage. This follows like your typical junk found footage films I find. Uh, does more a lot of like what the indie film market's done of found footage. Try to make it up so you get more scares and more spiritual ghost activity. Um, but terrible. This is a CGI fest film, uh, found footage film, which brings it super unrealistic, I found. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, you, um, so he finds this camera and he finds it odd, but uh, he starts filming it and he sets up other uh, videos. Has They start experiencing weird sounds and stuff like that. Then you get to start seeing the ghosts, which is uh, pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. And uh, basically, it targets their daughter, young daughter. His uh, sister-in-law is randomly staying at the house for some reason. And his brother is. And they're sort of like, have a thing. And then there's a husband and wife. And it's a really random setup. But yeah. And uh, they don't know what to do with it. They call in a priest to help. And he's useless. And uh yeah, now, uh, there is a few positives to this film. Um, yeah, so the characters and stuff I found were, in were amusing. Uh, I didn't care for the wife or her sister or anything like that. And the daughter is your stereotypical daughter that you see in every Paranormal Activity film, so it wasn't very anything new and exciting. Uh, and, but the uh, dad and his brother are pretty amusing characters, I thought. In the film, um, they definitely carry the story, and uh, it's usually from their perspective and stuff like that. And uh, I like the ending part, it, despite it being a very big CGI fest and stuff like that. I thought it was pretty cool when they put the sheet over the ghost at the end. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you get to see it like come up and stuff like that, and it gets bigger and stuff like that. That was actually pretty freaky and pretty interesting, but. For the most part, this film is pretty dull and boring, I found. Uh, there's a lot of stupid like tie-ins that they do with the other Paranormal Activity films. Um, the guy finds a VHS taste from the 80s films, and you learn more about the cult that was set in uh, the last like few of them, especially. And you get to see how the kids are sort of like all coincide with it, and their daughter's now part of it, too. And so... Yeah, and basically they ripped off Poltergeist for half of it um, because they have like a random doorway in a wall where you go through the ghost dimension part. 
and uh, sort of ties in sort of the same as the marked ones, but 10 times worse, I found. Um, but yeah, so they definitely mishmashed a lot of stuff, put it all together in a big jumbled mess, and made a terrible movie out of it. And I think they are trying to kill the franchise at this point, purposely, um, because yeah, uh, this film was terrible. Uh, a lot of stuff I didn't like. A CGI filled nonsense was terrible. Um, now, this is probably on par with the Gallows type found footage. It's pretty terrible. Uh, they definitely did. Sh this was originally released in 3D and you can sort of tell. Uh, there's a lot of like in camera like jump uh, at you effects and stuff like that. So it's funny to see that. But when you're watching it in 2D, it's pretty lame. And it's your typical cater to the jump scare more than building ambiance and a decent n narrative to creep you out and incorporate those at the same time. They just want full-on jump scares, stereotypical horror, loner horror, where basically you just jump a couple times and they, there's no point to the film. Uh, yeah, so... Very disappointing film. Uh, I knew that going in because I absolutely hated it the first time I watched it. And I still hate it. So, yeah. Definitely the worst one in the series. And by far the one that's randomly linked together with the other ones. But basically it's just a crappy... Like, if you took out the VHS part from the um, parts and stuff like that. It could have been its own found footage film. It doesn't even have to be a paranormal activity film. And, uh, yeah, they just basically slapped the name on it and put some stuff in it, and there you go. But, yeah, it was an interesting concept, but a very stupid, poorly put together, I thought. Um, yeah, also, the when the kids can see in the future and stuff like that, that was really cheesy and stupid. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Paranormal to the Ghost Dimension, 100% the worst and definitely a huge downgrade from the other films. So yeah. Um, yep, that's what I think of Paranormal Act of the Ghost Dimension. I absolutely cannot stand it. I'm giving this a 1 out of 5. Only because there was a few interesting things that happened in it. And some of the characters are likable. But everything else needs a lot of work. So definitely don't bother with this one. Or unless you just want to see some like minor closure parts to the Paranormal Activity franchise, I guess. Check it out if you really want to. But uh, this one definitely is not for me. So I just thought it was a boring CGI filled jump scare boring mess. So yeah. Uh, there's a trailer link down below if you really want to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Also my Instagram is always linked down below. I post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. Who knows what I'm going to review next because uh, I'm done the Paranormal Activity franchise now. So now it's time to move on to something else. So who knows what I'm going to talk about next. So... Yeah, but yeah, all those cl film clips that I, I'm i going to do in the future and stuff like that is on my Instagram story. I had the title and the hashtag too, so make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay in the loop. Also, I do mention in the video clips uh, the subgenre of films, so in case somebody's not interested, you don't have to worry about it. So, yeah, but yeah, it's going to be cool, interesting seeing what I'm getting into next, so make sure you subscribe. Like this video, share it so more people can stay away from it, and uh, stay away from the Paranormal Activity Ghost Dimension. And, uh, yeah. And if you have any other films or any franchise you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below. I'll try my eyes to go to them as soon as I can if I can find them. And until the next one, hopefully it's something interesting and way more fun than this film. Uh, I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.